Hello, my friends. How are you today? I put gold shoes on today because I would like to talk about one of my favorite people ever, one of the goddesses of disco, Madeline Bell. Uh, you may not have heard of Madeline Bell. In fact, I'd never looked her up until, you know, fairly recently. And uh, she has an astonishing biography. I would love to do justice, but unfortunately I won't. Uh, she was born in Newark, New Jersey and became a gospel singer and happened to make a trip to uh, Great Britain to do a tour there and, and was very well liked and was picked up as a, as a backup singer in the United Kingdom uh, through the late 60s. And uh, she worked with, I'm trying to look here, okay, John Paul Jones, Joe Cocker, frickin' the first thing you probably ever heard her on was 1969's You Can't Always Get What You Want by the Rolling Stones. Uh, by the early 70s, she was just doing whatever she wished. And uh, I'm looking here at some of the other stuff. It's it's pretty amazing, but I won't dwell on it because uh, by the late 70s, she could do whatever she wished. And what Madeline Bell wished to do was to fall in with the boys uh, from in the band Space or to create the band Space along with the lads uh, who I will name later when I can figure out how to pronounce their damn names. Uh, anyways, uh, so Madeline Bell lent her voice to space and helped to found the genre of space disco. And if you'll allow me, since we've touched on, let's just step aside for a moment and talk about all the different genres of disco we've visited lately. A lot of orchestral disco to include the Sal Soul Orchestra and AKB, right? Jupiter Sunset Band. Uh, then we had, then we had the, the let's see, the Halloween disco, and then shortly after that we fell into the evil plant pan flute disco, and uh, now we're up to French space disco. And it's varieties, which, uh, uh, if you allow me to include science fiction disco as an overlapping genre, then you would be able to include all of the people that Madeline Bell made great. To include Space, Cerrone, <laughs> and, and uh, uh, what's his name? Freaking Giorgio Moroder. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, you know, she's the queen of of disco. You may know other queens of disco, but Madeline Bell deserves to be named with all those others you may already know or may soon be introduced to. Uh, so, so there you go. Uh, now by mentioning her, uh, that allows me to, to talk about uh, the great bands that she participated with, including Cerrone's early work, and his very science fiction he's Supernature. I believe she's on that. Nobody's actually credited on Supernature, so it's really hard to tell. Uh, but she was definitely with Space for their three greatest albums. And then she came back in 2011, and Space put out a new album called, uh, I believe it's a Voyage to Mars? Earth to Mars, maybe? It's freaking amazing. You should really check that one out doesn't really fall under the purview of disco, though. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'll provide you with a, a brief sampler of Madeline's awesomeness, uh, which eventually will tread into the realm of disco. And in the meantime, well, there you go. You get to meet one of the greats who perhaps has not been given her due justice in this day and age. So... Now let me find where I was, and I shall leave you. Thank you.